appearance. On behalf of the staff and myself, I'd like to welcome you to the Little Acorns Open Day. Firstly, as headmistress, I would like to say how pleased I am that you've considered Little Acorns for your seedling. It is gratifying. Hennessy, Hennessy, it is not autumn. Leaves on, please. It is gratifying for us that there are so many of you here today, though obviously we will have to weed out the weaker specimens as we do have a reputation for producing the sturdy oak. Our little acorns get open space and sunlight and our alumni have gone on to do great things indeed. Robinson, you will not be going on to do great things if you can't leave your peduncle alone. Thank you. We've been here since just after the Ice Age, but this is Gloucestershire, so things haven't really changed much since then. Little acorns were used as roof beams in York Minster, in Windsor Castle, and some have gone on to be the benches in the Houses of Parliament, so we can honestly say we are literally supporting the backbone of Britain. <laughs> Each of our little acorns is partnered with an older conifer that encourages strong upward growth. Ideally, what we're looking for is a tall, thin plank, which, as I'm sure you will agree, is what the whole of the private school system is geared towards creating. So, if you'd all like to move towards the Arts and Crafts block, we'll begin our tour. Hennessy, take your hand off Hickory's nuts and see me afterwards. Natural History's comedy from BBC Radio 4, Stop That Pilkington! To hear from more like me, go to bbc.co.uk slash naturalhistories.